Megan and this is going to be a updated skincare routine. I haven't done a skincare routine in a really long time so let me go ahead and get into the video and show you guys what I use on my skin. Now with my skincare routine I feel like I really don't do too much to maintain my skin and I know you're like you have on a lot of makeup for this to be a skincare routine video but um, I'll insert a picture of what I look like without makeup so you can see you know the state of my skin. Um, I've never ever really had too much of a problem with my skin as far as acne or kind of you know any other issues like that um, and I'm referring to the skin on my face. Um, I really don't do too much and I also I don't wear makeup on a daily basis so I really don't know if that has anything to do with the state of my skin but first and foremost what do I do um, I do kind of drink or try to drink as much water as I can um, I feel like that definitely you know helps out with my skincare routine as well as my just overall health um, I'm just trying to do better with my my um, health in general or my eating not my health I'm not in bad health but um, my diet um, I have been you know changing my diet up and I lost a couple pounds <laughs> that's always good too and I noticed that my diet definitely does have a lot to do with my skin as well um, but I've never had too much of an issue before but if you're wondering like hey I'm having some issues maybe look at your water intake and your diet but as far as what I cleanse my face with um, like I said I don't wash my I mean I don't wear makeup every day I do wash my face every day how evil um, so for example my daily wash I know this is so ratch but <laughs> I don't know where my soap dish went <laughs> because you know my bathroom has been going through some things <laughs> so um, this here is the Neutrogena um, what is this the original formula just the bar soap for um, I think it's combination skin I think I will have the full information about the soap type in the description if I'm wrong stating it in this video but I'm pretty sure this is the original formula for combination skin and it's the bar I personally prefer the bar just because I feel like I can get a better better lather than the um, you know the gel it's just a personal preference and I've been using this since I've been in high school and it always always worked great it gets deep down in those pores and cleans out you know uh, those pores so you won't get those blackheads from oil and dirt build up on your skin um, but I will say that this does burn your face and your skin if you do not rinse it out well enough or you put too much on your wash rack um, so I will say be careful with that so I absolutely love this stuff I don't think I'll ever stop using Neutrogena bar soap um, it's just good stuff I feel like it, it just does what it needs to do so this is more so like my daily wash, you know, when I wake up in the morning, when I go to sleep at night, I wash my face with this every single day. Now to moisturize my face, I used to use the Neutrogena um, moisturizer for combination skin. I still kind of use it here and there, but the one that I've been really liking so far, and I got it in a goodie bag, which is the Proactive Solution um, Greetine Moisturizer, and this stuff is amazing. It moisturizes my skin. It doesn't leave it a heavy, greasy feel like like the Neutrogena can at times if you put too much on but I feel like I could put on a whole lot of this and my face won't feel oily or greasy so I really really like this it's nice and mild and doesn't irritate my skin and it you know gives my face nice um, you know moisturized feel because I do have a combination skin I do get oily in my t-zone but I do for the most part have dry skin in these areas other than the t-zone so when I know I'm going to wear makeup, I do wear my MAC Green Gel Cleanser and I just kind of like the way my skin feels after I use this um, to prep to put on a full face makeup. I just feel like my skin feels really nice and smooth and ready to take on this, you know, amazing, flawless application of makeup. My skin just feels different and I know you're probably like, well, why do you use a different, you know, face wash for when you're about to apply makeup? I really don't know. I just really like it because it doesn't like leave a residue or an oily feel on my face and I think that's why I really really like it it's a great prep for when I'm about to put on my makeup and then I do um, apply 
after I cleanse my face before makeup, I do apply the Proactive Green Gel Cleanser. And I love this stuff because it's not oily and it doesn't give me that greasy, shiny look too. Like, it's amazing. So it's great, these two together, right before I apply makeup. Now, when I remove my makeup, I really, really love the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And this is the hydrating formula or kind of like, you know, I guess I would say formula. This comes, obviously, is the blue pack and there's other uh, versions of the makeup towelettes. But I really love this because it does not burn my skin and it leaves my skin absolutely moisturized. Like, for example, if you come home really late and you just don't feel like washing your face, I would just use about two of these just to make sure my makeup is all the way off since I'm not about to wash my face because I'm so, 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 so tired. My skin feels clean and it feels like it's breathing because it got rid of all that makeup, all that residue. It, I, my pores feel like they're breathing, like they're pulsating like <laughs> after using this. So I love this stuff. I need to go get some more so I can take off my makeup tonight and, you know, go ahead and wash my face because suggest you just only using these to replace cleansing your face but I'm just saying if you're tired one day and you're like listen girl I just can't stand up the sink and wash my face these will get you through they will and they remove everything too it's really really nice now when I do want to exfoliate, I exfoliate when needed. You know how some girls are like, make sure you exfoliate twice a week. No girl, I exfoliate when I see like that I need to exfoliate. I don't have a specific routine. I do things depending on when my face needs it. Just the same as my hair. Like if, oh, if my hair feels like it needs some protein or feel like it needs some moisture, I'll, I'll incorporate that. So to exfoliate, I use the Proactive Skin Smoothing Exfoliator and I got this in a goodie bag I think it was like a ipsy or something I don't know but um there's actually a system so this first is the exfoliator and I absolutely love how it makes my skin feel again I only use exfoliators on my face skin when needed so this says step one is the exfoliator by proactive and then the step two is the um pore targeting um treatment and I'm guessing this just helps kind of like you know minimize your pores keep them nice and cleared and keep your skin moisturized and clog free and all that stuff um so i really really love this stuff too and then step three um is the uh proactive complexion perfecting hydrator and my skin feels really nice and hydrated after i'm done using um you know the whole system i tend to use it at night or when i know i'm gonna wear a full face of makeup like the next day so that's how I use that stuff. Yeah. Now, as far as my body skin, um, I have dry, sensitive skin. I don't really use too many things, uh, fragrance uh, things. Like I do use, you know, my Victoria's Secret type stuff here and there, but I'm not a consistent wearer of those things. I kind of put it on when I know I'm going somewhere or I got like a cute date or something. <laughs> but I, I don't put it on like, oh, no, I'm putting on, when I get done out of the shower, I am putting on sweet almond oil on my skin because it's very soothing and moisturizing to my skin. And it also, what I've noticed, it helped diminish the appearance of my scars on my legs because I'm still clumsy. You know, like I'm short and I have to jump on the counter to get like a can of whatever food from the counter. Yes, I still have to jump up on the counter. So I kind of scrape my legs up sometimes when I have to hop up on the counter to reach stuff. Um, but I really love using sweet almond oil and this is by Now Solutions. I got mine from Whole Foods and I got the big bottle because I like to use it as well on my hair and my whole body. It just gives a really nice soothing you know sensation to your skin you can also use this as a massage oil I'll, nobody's massaging on me but me um <laughs> so i massage this on myself um after i get out the shower especially this helped me out during the dry winter months and things like that but it just feels really really good it's just really soothing when you get in the bed you just like feel at calm and at ease um and it definitely helped my dry itchy skin that i kind of get here and there and it works really well after like shaving your legs it feels uh 
amazing. Now, I have not used this on my face just because I'm a little scared um, as far as how it'll react on my face. I'm not really sure. And another oil that I do use sometimes is coconut oil. Um, I do kind of use that here and there whenever I feel necessary, but this is my number one oil that I go towards um, daily as far as daily use. I'm not using lotion. I just go straight for my um, sweet almond oil and it feels great. I love it. Now, you know, to cleanse my skin, I'll normally use um, my Jamaican black, I um, mean not Jamaican black, um, um, African black soap. Um, I don't have any more right now to show you guys. I used it all up. So I'll either use the um, black soap, the African black soap, or you know just regular unscented Dove because I'm sensitive. And I do exfoliate my skin here and there and this actually came from my bathroom. This is the cave body scrub that you guys seen on Instagram. And it's, it's a coffee scrub and it smells so good like just wakes you up it's just amazing I I love this stuff this is my absolute favorite stuff I just love scrubs in general and I really like that this is a coffee scrub it really gets down to the nitty-gritty of removing any kind of skin buildup or you know scaly dry skin on your legs your arms things like that this is this is only goes for the body this isn't something I use on my face me personally I don't use this on my face but it's a coffee scrub and it has, you know, blends of, you know, coffees and different things in there. Um, I just really love the way it smells. Yeah, that is about it. <laughs> if you guys do have any questions, feel free to ask those down in the comment area below. And there will be a full listing of everything that I mentioned as far as skincare in the description below. Um, and I believe that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.